picture of me. I'm about to drop my pants and get some orange on the phone. All right, we're out here. What is this? November? Yeah. November 12th. November 12th. 15th. 15th. We've come out, pulled our uh, four trail cams. We've set up. Matthew says don't put the camera on him. He's changing his pants. So we've got the four trail cams out. We brought them out of the woods. I've got one on this tree here. Pointing outwards from our camp. We're just camping our little trailer. We'll go forward. We have a trail cam over here pointing out. This one here. Last time we heard dogs bark up here. We're five miles off the gravel road. On a gravel road. We heard things. Last time I was here, I believe they throw rocks from up there down into these woods where we were here. Now we have uh, Matt's put a cam right up here just in case anything tonight decides to check us out from the woods. He's got a cam right there. It's cool. It's dry. Looks like we have a full moon tonight. Which is good. I don't mind the light. I have a trail cam up here pointing up. So we're loaded. We've got four trail cams. Our camper has two LA light D lights flips on from the outside, from the inside. These are our beds that go into the camper. We have a little heater in the back and got a light. Where'd you light it? I'm trying to shoot a video here. Holy crap. It's about, it's about four o'clock. Yeah, he's got red lights in there just to help with night vision and we have a heater full charger and we flip the switch on we have the two windows these two beds go into the uh, house i can cut that light off huh? so we can see out the window we turn these lights on in the middle of the night if we need to also we need to book and get the hell out of here or set the rope um i've got the uh, I've got my shotgun up here with my shells. Matthew's got his shit on his ass. But, uh, that's what's going on this evening. We've only heard, well, the, uh, when we got up there, the uh, dolls we had left them, they turned the uh, head completely around and put it face down on the blonde head baby doll. And the other weird doll, they put it face down. So I guess they were telling us something. They'll break our necks and bury us. I'm not really sure what they were trying to communicate. But anyway, we left them three carrots. Tonight's almost a full moon night. I just said that was oh. 20 minutes ago. I say, uh, anyway, we left them three carrots. Before I was interrupted by the side crew. Side crew. We had three carrots and a banana. We turned the dolls back over to see if they would maybe not kill us just for the fun of it. And Matthew's grilling logs right now. It's not too cool. And this is where we sit for the night. Thought I'd shoot a little video in case this is the last video we ever shoot. Matthew, you got anything to say to everybody for before you uh, disappear? Give her hell. <laughs> that, um, well, that's my last word, I'll tell you that. Okay, that's Matthew's last word. Give her hell, because hell, this might be the end of his ass. <laughs> this might be the, this might be a hard night coming up here. We'll find out.
Okay. We've uh, went down the trail there where Tennessee cut off the uh, road. We walked down it, <clears throat> and I guess we went what, about a mile or so. About a mile or so, yeah. We get a mile down, and we start finding this one location where all the trees are growing over tilting, as you can see, to, for no explanation, they're growing. Um, they're all tilting. Really squatchy looking place. See these here? They're all growing and they're all tilting. No explanation. We've been, we just walked a mile and had nothing like this. You know, we've got, like, we're sitting here on the rock. Like, here's a side. This is a little tree. And again, we zoom out. All the way up through this, they're growing. Here's another one right there. You see the big one that goes. There's nothing on them. There's nothing on that tree. See this little one right beside it coming out of the ground? It goes up. Nothing this, going. This one here is just pointing it. It goes up. Um, and like I said, all up through this mountain, they're all just for no reason. See, here's one here, and they're all pointing off into that direction. A little teeny one right there. No, no explanation. So... We're going to, and up there, you start getting a lot that are really bent over for no reason. And so, we're going to probably start setting up our cams up here. See what's going on. See this one here? I follow it to the top. There's no reason for it to be doing this stuff, guys. There's nothing on this tree. You know, Matthew had said, oh, it's the sun. I'm like, no, we just walked a mile into the woods and seen no nothing like this nothing. this is all the trees are curving up and nothing on them yeah, those things are trying to get you so the there's sunlight, something the sun's behind it yeah there's and there's also stacks of rocks which is you know who knows what that is but anyway so that's where we're at okay so we walk up here to the middle and what do i find straight in the middle of this patch is cleared out what does that look like right there in front of you, Matthew? What is that? Is that called a trident? Where? I thought a trident. That's a trident, dude. That's a trident? That's a fucking trident, so man. It's a three thing that yeah. the center thing. Yeah. It doesn't matter, it's a three thing, it's a trident, dude. That's a trident, man. That's insane. It's in the middle of this clearing. In the middle of this little clearing up here, there's a trident. Oh. That's a trident, dude. You don't find them, man. I've been looking. I look for tridents all the time. You never see them. Whoa. Yeah, that's a, tr a that's a trident, man. Really and see, that tree's fine. This is some squatchy looking place up here. In the middle up here, which all these trees are turning for no reason. See this pine tree here? It's turning down. There's nothing on it. See this tree here? It's growing up. It's turning that way. Nothing on it. You see these here? They're coming this way. Nothing on them. There's no explanation for this. All these. See these over here? They're growing that way. They're pine trees. They're growing that way. And then what's fascinating is when you get up here, Look at this one, it's curving this way, see? It grows up and curves. It wants to go this way, then it's curving back that way. But it's pushing up against another tree. Two trees don't really push up against each other. And then right up here in the center. Yeah. Right up here in the center of this stuff. My first trident that I've seen out here. Right there it is. <laughs> okay, so now we get up here and there's, you know, you can see here, this tree where that it almost forms a trident where they curve the limbs up. And then we have burial mounds. We got one here. And you go up, you got more burials. And the thing is, is this whole area here not walk this way, so I'm also looking for footsteps. Has there. not, has been, it's been munched on a lot, crunched on a lot, a lot of, a lot of travel. A lot of travel on this area here. It's not, it's just a 
one of its little areas that it likes to be. There's a burial mound right here. There's a burial mound up here. I got a feeling we're in the middle. There's a burial mound over here. And once you get up here, the trees stop curving. But see from this point down, curvatures. See all the trees, how they turn and curve now. Look at the mushrooms on this one. Holy crap. Look at that. Here's another burial ground right here. Burial mounds. Burial mounds. Burial mounds. See how the trees throughout the rest of the forest are straight? But you see that one is starting to curve. Once you start getting down here, they curve all over the place. You showed me that one and that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's about the size we got at the house right there. Uh huh. Yep. Very much like we got at the house. <laughs> Another trident. It ain't perfect, but still, dang, I'm trying to look at them how they curve up. Very hard to find tridents in the woods. I mean, look at the size of this little burial ground. I mean, you know, I mean, we have plenty, but this is unnatural as you can see around it. And if you go up through there, there's another burial ground. There's a burial ground over here. There's a burial ground over there and up through there. And as you can see, there's nothing around here as far as rocks. It's all clear until you come into here. And as you can see, these rocks were be they were put in here. Something's buried here. Something big. Something very big buried right here. And then like you said, you see more burial grounds. They're burial though. So, just like a farmer would clear a field and pile all the rocks. These are piled here. No doubt about it. Mind boggling. Me and Matt was just sitting here talking. I look over and hell look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. That's a beautiful trident right there. We were just standing over here and I was telling my heart it is. We were just looking at that one. I was telling my heart it's fine tridents in the woods. You gotta have a good eye for them. But you don't find tridents. Actually not. Oh, I'll see another one. That one up there, see those three that's coming out in one spot? You get in the right angle, you could probably see it's a trident. Oh, it is? Yeah, that's a trident, dude. The more you get open, the better. See it right beside that blackbird? Blackbird? Yeah, you see that black crow right there? That's fucking weird. I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> so we get up here. Look at this unnatural rock pile. Ain't it awesome? How nature just laid these in the woods in the middle of nowhere. Just a nice, nature's amazing. And then they go up there and they, they lay more up there. Ain't it neat how nature can stack rocks? I mean, we're talking. Flat rocks on top of flat rocks. And then when you look downhill, there's more of these stacked rocks, piles out here. And then the thing is, is what's neat is, over here. Oh, this thing's been broken over here. What's neat is these trees all bend towards that ridge. We just came off that ridge over there, and all those bend towards this ridge. It's like they're pointing or something. This is crazy. Right, let's look at this. Look at these burials. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this crap. Look at the. Wow, I'm sure, look at that. Look at the size, of look at the stacks done here. What is this? I mean, they, someone did all the work out here to stack this thing. Look at that. What is that? They're, they're all stacked. And then, you know, that's the one we were just on. Look at this one. 
again stacked. That almost had a trident right there. Almost. More stacking going on. Oh my gosh, but it goes on up. There's more up here. It just likes going up this mountain, man. We're in like Indian burial grounds or something. Hey, look, we're going up the hill. Look at these stacks. And look at the trees. See how these trees, they curve towards that ridge over there. They're all going towards that ridge and that ridge is going towards this ridge like a circle like a loop look, it's a barrel that's a barrel that's a barrel that's another barrel oh my gosh look at this this pressure is five going up two on up and up the mountain barrel sides barrel sides in a row and then over there is a giant one. Oh my gosh we don't know how many is out here I just cut the video off, turned around, and lock a mahala. Look at that trident, guys. Look at that. It's right up here in the middle of it all. I knew there was one nearby. At the end of the burials are five burials in a row. Yeah, they like, right in line. They like push this tree. Like this. They like line that tree and stuck it right up in that freaking hole up there into that tree. And the thing is, is it is leaning. Exactly like this, away from that. This is so they moved it from. Down. It was here, and it's been moved over. <laughs> and look at that. They <laughs> moved this tree from this location, guys. This tree somehow or another fell over, and then they dropped it and put it right up through the hole. Perfect freaking fit, man. <laughs> Perfect fucking fit, dude. I didn't thought we were gonna see something like that big. We've been seeing the small stuff. That's big. It was, what's amazing is, as I turn around and look up the hill, all I see is more burials. More burials, mounds. Burial, burial. burial mounds. Burial. This is the part, the spot that they didn't want it to goes come up. Probably. It goes up. It goes up. It goes up. More burials. They just don't stop. And look at them. Burials and tried it. We walked probably a couple miles down into Tennessee out of Kentucky to find all this. Look at this. Nature. Nature stacked these. Mm-hmm. Huh? I said nature stacked these. Ain't that amazing how nature can mm. stack these rocks? Uh-huh. Look at that. Nature it does that much. I mean you would put a big rock down. And then start stacking small ones, put little ones in between. See how nature was conscious when it did this? Yeah, nature. Because it, nature doesn't just throw sticks down wherever it wants now. Or rocks. The higher we go, the more there is. There's a cliff side up there. We get down the mountain, we think, yay! And then we go, holy crap, you just, it, we just come off that ridge over there. To the right, and then we come off the mountain. Son of a gun, are they just one? Look at them. Look at it. All up and down this mountain. It's just more and more and more and more burial sites. We thought we were coming out of here, and then we find more. We're trying to get out of these woods, but the burial sites are just... They just stop over here. I'm like... Right here? Look at the size of this. Look up there. It just won't stop. Look at the size of these burial sites over here. I mean, they're here. All right, look over here. Look at the size of that one right here in the middle. Biggest burial site I've ever seen. Right here's one beside me. Here's one beside me. Here's one right there. Here's one there. And right in here. 
Biggest. That's as big as the one we got at ours. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't think we have one this the big. The biggest one that we got. That's I don't think ours is that big. That, I, Look at the size of it. We don't want that high, though. Yeah. Nope. It's six foot. Nope. Nope. Yes. Nope. Yes. Anyway, when we get to that. that's not the biggest one. No, I've been ours is not that tall. It might be that big and wide, but it ain't that. It ain't that tall. That's a huge pair of This must be a big Bigfoot okay, king. Right this thing is freaking giant. I mean, we're here. Step up uh, near it. Look at the size of this thing. And see, as you see, I kind of did a crappy job coming over, but see these, look at them. You see all these? They're all throughout. They're everywhere as we look. I can't get out of these woods because I ain't ever seen anything like this. And then I go down the valley and then see more. Now, there's a bad thing going on is we do see tarps out here. Anybody would cramp out here might not survive. These things are not friendly, at least from my experience. If someone had come out here, and I'm afraid to look in there to see if there's human remains or what. See if there's human remains around it, underneath it. I'm just saying, anybody that would, you know, how old is that tarp? Not that old, is it? A few years? Mm -hmm. Not old at all. All right. What about this blue tarp? Well, actually, this is some quality stuff. So I'd say about you know five years. Right. But it shouldn't be like that. So when we're leaving, here comes these five crows. Here's another one flying. And they're circling us, and we're pointing us out. Look at these guys circling us. Look at them, and they're staying with us. They came from that area up there. There's another one. He's reporting. I see. Look at me. See him. He's going around. He's flying through the woods. These guys are knocking on us. They're just. That might be the sixth one. Oh, they just keep coming. They keep coming. We, they flew off the top of the mountain down to us, and now they're just circulating us. I can see him. I'm looking right at him. He's looking right at me. I can zoom in on his butt. Looking at me too. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, they're they are they are watching us and they're reporting on us. Now we've been here all day long and all of a sudden five, six crows. We haven't heard birds all day. They showed up. They're very far distance, little tweety birds, far distance. They and showed crows up. Are showing up. I barely even hear them, dude. <laughs> now they're all around. Now they're all around and they're sitting they're still. Close. We've stopped. Now they stop. And they stop. He's looking right at me. He's right in here. I'm looking right at him. There he goes. One of them just flew off. Yeah, he was looking at me. That one was. Look, he won't go no further than spin around. He's just spinning around. There's two flying. They might be going down the holler. I think they're trying to find their buddies. 